Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use E, also known as Euler's number or the natural antilog on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the ln or natural log key with the shift function of E to the power of X. It looks like this, located here, and the negative key. That looks like this, located here. To get started, if we just want to get E itself, or Euler's number on its own, what we do is press Shift, and then the LN key. We'll now see the E with an exponent box. Since we just want E by itself, we can just press 1, and then hit the Execute key. That gives us e to the power of 1, or just e, which is equal to 2.71828, etc., which is correct. If we want to get e to an exponent, for example, e to the power of 2 plus 3, again, we start with the shift and then the ln key, which gives us our e to the exponent. And then we can enter our exponent, which was 2 plus 3. and hit EXE, and we see we get a result of 148.413159, etc., which is correct. What if we want to find an exponent that's a negative number, like, for example, e to the power of negative 2? For that, we need to use the negative key down here. So again, we start with the shift, and then the LN key which gives us our e to the exponent. And then we need to use the negative key, not the subtraction, the negative one here, which gives us our negative sign. And then we enter our two and hit exe, which gives us a result of 0 0.13533, et cetera, which is correct. One thing to keep in mind is if we're using this as part of a longer equation, like say e to the power of negative 2 plus 1, we need to bring our cursor out of that exponent box to continue the equation. So to do that, we would do shift ln, there's our e, then enter our negative 2, and now bring our cursor down with the right key so that it's outside of the exponent, and then enter our plus 1, and hit execute. And that gives us 1.13533, etc., which would be correct. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.